Hello everyone, one and all, welcome to Unicorn Light Tarot. I sincerely hope everybody is doing amazingly well whenever you click on to this video, whether it's during the day or at night or in the morning. So welcome. So I thought what we would do today is a, it's a full moon today, by the time this is uploaded, it's just after the full moon, but we can still work with the full moon energy. So it's the last full moon we have here in 2020, and it's a very powerful full moon, and I thought we could do uh, uh, 2021 blessing. We, we're going to read some cards and see what the themes will be in 2021. And also we're going to do a cleansing of the old, which is why we have our black candle here for expelling negativity and protection. As always, it has this beautiful healing and abundance oil that we have on there today. So we're going to do a releasing of everything that no longer serves us and bringing in those blessings for 2020. When more people come together with the energy, it's much more powerful. Um, not that working with spell work or working with intention on your own, that's very powerful too. But as we work into 2020, one of the themes that are coming up for sure is working in unity. So we're going to be doing all of those things for you today and doing uh, a channeling for the collective as well as healing, activation and abundance. Now don't worry, uh, in the next couple of days for 2021, we will be working with Hecate, 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 um, Hecate, if you are a fan of uh, Shakespeare, specifically my Beth. We will be working uh, specifically with that goddess to get you some personal readings for 2020, uh, 21. We all know what happened in 2020, what didn't happen in 2020. But today it's all about the collective. So let's begin. We have our, uh, our wand here and I'm going to start the session with the power symbol. We're going to be sending that out to you. So let's just take in a really big deep breath. Big deep breath in. Hold for two. And as you expel, I want you to expel all the negativity. You can let that go into the light. It is said that if your candle flame burns blue, then we have some beautiful uh, energy, angelic and otherworldly energy. So it is definitely blue under here. So we definitely, I mean, we're channeling the collective. Um, I always have uh, spirits around me anyway. So, and I'm sure most of you do too. So I'm not surprised. So when you breathe out, breathe deeply. And when you breathe out, breathe out all of the ne negativity and leave it into the flame. Leave it into the flame. Let's put the flame center stage here. So let's breathe in. And then breathe out, expel all that you no longer need. Anything that you can leave behind in 2020. It was definitely a long year of learning, activating, assimilating messages and past lives and, and, and our past. There was a lot, a lot of inner work that, that's been done in the last 10 months. Usually it would probably take around five or six years. We had it done in such a small amount of time. So keep breathing deeply. And as you breathe out, breathe out everything you no longer need onto that candle flame. And we are going to do another symbol for you. One of my favorite symbols here, the hearth symbol, followed by the power symbol. This will help you heal relationships and contact our spiritual beings. Okay, keep breathing in, keep breathing out what no longer serves you. And as we do that, let's get some messages and some blessings for 2021, some collective messages for 2021. two popped out. Okay, so we have the universe here. 
and we have the Ten of Swords. So we talked about uh, the theme of unity coming into 2021, and it's about, let's put this here on camera. I want you to keep expelling what you no longer need. And the first message that we're getting from the collective, it is this sense of unity coming in and again, moving beyond the sort of polarities or understanding what those polarities mean for you as an individual, as a unique perspective. Working in unity and not fighting against yourself, not fighting against others, but at the same time, holding that space for your individuality, holding that space for exactly who you are, grounding in into your own sense of magic and your own sense of authenticity. 2021 will definitely be the year that everybody, star seeds, light workers, will step into their own unique voice, um, being able to uniquely speak their truth and understanding what that truth means for them. And it's working for the collective, but it also means that sort of tuning out what no longer works. Before we had a situation in 2020 where there was so much going on, so much diversity um, and, and so much fear going on as everything was expelled and everything was brought to the surface. And while we weren't able to really indulge and love the understanding of respecting each other's diversity and celebrating that. Um, we were we were all caught up as a collective of, of really shining a light on what needed to be expelled and worked through, you know, worked through those wounds. Um, but as we've moved through that in 2020, we will be coming into this new sense of unity where we, and it's not this sort of like, ah, kumbaya, let's come together. It's this, it's really profound unity, but again, it's it's stretched out by each unique, beautiful voice. It's about each person standing in their own grounded magic and understanding their own vulnerability and understanding their own wounds and really coming into uh, pure alignment with whatever ailed you before, whatever it is that you left behind before, whatever that you didn't integrate before. This might be coming up for you at the end of 2020, right now as we speak, especially with this full moon. And that is perfectly fine. If it's coming up for you, it's ready to be recognized. It's ready to be integrated. So this will be a, a completely different kind of unity. This kind of unity that we were, that we are coming into in 2020 is of profound strength. It's not based on um, the sort of like these these wishy washy sort of wisdoms that that worked and didn't work and and did and didn't work and sort of allowed for um, how do I say it. How do we say it? Allowed for a lot of inconsistencies which have now been revealed to us. This is about everybody standing in their own truth and their own magic. It's a very powerful time of integrating who we truly are and standing in that profound light and giving space to everybody to be who they are regardless of what it, what, what it is they choose to believe in and who it is they choose to be in this lifetime. Remember, Earth is a free will zone. We have no right to judge anybody for choosing the way that they do. Many people live in fear. Many people live in light. Um, the other thing that I'm being uh, reminded to tell you is a lot of people have been experiencing a lot of darkness in 2020, which is totally understandable. We don't need to go into the reasons why we know. But when you are experiencing so much darkness, and for those of you who have experienced so much darkness, to the point where you've gotten to the point where you feel like you've been through the dark night of the soul maybe three or four times this year in 2020, it was very overwhelming um, and really disconcerting at times, you are being reminded that you were the light all along. And just because you couldn't see it around you, you were the light. And that light was shining all the time. Now, it was a really hard year in some ways for um, light workers and star seeds and our earth angels here. There was so much going on. And there was this elatedness at certain times when we were integrated with our true selves and who we really are, which is who we are at any time. It's just who we believe we should be 
which again has been integrated and we've worked through a lot of that uh, different versions of success this year different versions of how we should be um, we've we've uh, refigurated a lot of what we want in this lifetime and and for some of us it's just a matter of reiterating what we've truly wanted and have the confidence to know that we really will get it um, the one thing that I'm getting is very clearly is that everything that you've worked on this year you've done an incredible amount of work so for those of you who were sitting there at the end of 2020 saying you know I don't seem to have a lot of physical stuff or the external um, to show for what I've been through 2020 trust me having the guts having the courage to slow down in this year and really listen instead of um, you know publishing that book or everything else that you want to do and if you did that absolutely three thumbs up that's amazing um, but for those of you who don't feel as though you have that much to show in the external world you've been working on the internal world and the one thing within yourself the one thing that we can say is that once you are in full alignment with yourself this is when true magic happens and if you've been working consistently throughout 2020 realigning and aligning yourself with your true nature then everything will take off as planned in 2021 you will absolutely what is that uh that story the hare and the rabbit nope no, sort of cousins aren't they the hare and the toad or one of them's faster and one of them's <laughs> you know what i mean it's been a long year I've definitely got one of those uh, brains that is uh, seeping seeping in and seeping out information. I don't even know what that means, but bear with me. So, you know, if others seems as though they've done a lot more and been a lot more progressive with their time, again, well done. Good for you. If you've set up a lot of great stuff in 2020, of course, 2021 will bring it to new heights. But for those of you, this message is specifically for those of you who have not felt as though the external is mirroring exactly what's been going on in the interior that work was necessary for you and you will take on the world next year on your own terms so uh, these also fell out so we're going to use this too we have the ten of pentacles here and we have the emperor so again we are talking about pure realignment with who it is and realigning your sense of power coming into the to the masculine and feminine sensibilities now we've been working to to again the polarity has been coming up uh one way or another 2020 the masculine and feminine but we're going to be really working with the divine masculine and the divine feminine here in 2021 that's going to be a global thing that's going to be um i was going to say an international thing but you know what i mean it's going to be a collective consciousness as the, the masculine and the feminine has been working out what's not working in either one of those has come to fruition and we've been able to see that in 2020 we're going to be working within the divine uh, divine masculine and feminine and the 2021 which is where true firm power comes from so that's wonderful so we've started off with this um, and we started off at the beginning of expelling what no longer works for us so now what I want to do I want you to use the flame too and energize what you do want, what you're working towards in 2021. It could be as specific as you want or something more happiness, love, more love in my life, more connected. It's absolutely, as always, completely up to you. But please think about what it is, whether you've been working on it 10 minutes or working on it 10, 20 years, maybe lifetimes. Um, Think about what it is that you want to physically see and bring into your life more of in 2021. Concentrate that into the flame and we'll bring in that energy for all of you. And for most of you, this energy will be one and the same. It might, it might deviate just a little bit, but you'd be surprised. It's probably very similar. So let's bring in all of that energy now into the flame. Everything that you want, you can write it down, you can say it out loud, you can you can see it in your mind's eye we're going to bring in your unicorn guide too and add a little bit extra magic for 
this full moon, why not add some extra magic with this full moon and give you that extra magic here, sending you off into 2021 where all your dreams will come true. Align, it will happen. We are also going to, I'm going to do one of my other favorite symbols. I always say this, but I actually love all of the symbols. So we're going to we're going to send some energy and healing of your lower chakras. And when we do that, we can manifest at will as well as your third eye chakra to clear all that out. Beautiful cleansing, beautiful blessings there. So when you ask for something, remember to believe. Know that you're worthy of it. Know that it's coming to you. Absolutely worthy of it. And that's how the universe will deliver as quickly as possible. So we're going to do the symbol here and then we're going to do the power symbol and we're going to send that to all of your wishes all of your hopes all of your dreams sending you in to 2021 now the symbol also clears your mind and also clears out the negative energy so we, we've already done that at the beginning of this session Again, just keep concentrating on that beautiful flame. And don't forget for some extra energy and some extra activation and meditation and healing, we have all the chakra meditations up now. Um, lower chakras and again, third eye chakra for manifestation, that third eye chakra. Um, I've been healing, uh, healing, <laughs> yes, Freudian slip, but a good Freudian slip. I've been hearing from you guys both in the comments and privately that these... Um, attunements and these healings and these um, chakra meditations are wonderful particularly the third eye chakra there so go um, check it out if you feel called to always work with your intuition of course now as we work with your unicorn guide was still pouring energy and beauty gorgeous beauty and magic with their mu uh, musical yes bring in that music celebrate remember when you ask for something celebrate know that you already have it live like you already have it it comes in quicker it gives you some space for it to manifest and so yeah, instead of looking over your shoulder wondering when wondering when it's going to happen so we're putting some extra music and beauty and and magic, of course, with the unicorn horn from your unicorn guide onto everything that you wish to accomplish, everything that you just wish to be um, in 2020. So, of course, we're going to be using the enchanted unicorn deck here to get you some more messages and blessings. Greenwood, the awakening. Absolutely. This has been a time for everybody for um, their awakening. Again, um, really connecting with your inner soul, really connecting with your vulnerability, with your narrative, with your story, with everything that you've been through. Be grateful for it and then allow it to integrate so you can move on to, you know, to, to let go of that narrative, to let go of that story. But who you are is important. Where you've come from is important. Um, all of it is important. That allows for the awakening coming into 2021. It's all about owning everything, owning every aspect of yourself, really delving deep into that self-acceptance that allows for self-love um, and really throwing out this perfectionist, this idea of perfection. We're not here to be perfect. We're here to be, um, we're here to be crazy. We're here to be messy and we're here to make mistakes. As long as we do something about those mistakes, we'll always learn from them and we won't keep repeating them. So yeah, enjoy that vulnerability, integrate it, absolutely move forward, own it. 2021 is about owning everything you are and having that chief sense of self-respect for yourself, everything that you've been through. Water wheel, end the struggle, absolutely. This is an easy way to end the struggle of not maintaining any struggle in your life by accepting everything that you've been through, every lesson that you've had. It doesn't mean that you haven't had heartache and it doesn't mean that you've deserved um, whatever it is that you've been through. We'll never make any mistakes about that. That's not what we're saying. But this is the time to integrate all of the knowledge from that and move forward in a way that suits you, in a way that really profoundly um, represents who you are. No longer will you dumb down your voice or dumb down who you are to fit into the world. The world in 2021 is it's it's being constructed 
So construct it around you, not your ego. You've already worked on that. Construct it around your inner being, your higher self, your love for life, your love for humanity. There's so much humanity around. I know there's a lot of darkness that's come up and it's been very difficult in 2020 to see the beauty through that sometimes, but we promise you there is beauty there and it will be shown to its brightest form in 2021. So just hold on, just hold on. And let's do one more from this beautiful deck here. Fireworks, put yourself out there. That's exactly what we've been saying as the message for 2021. I really love this. I mean, they're, they're all beautiful, but number three, two, celebration coming together. Um, finding your kindred spirits by showing who you are. And for those of you who don't understand who you are, that's fine. There's other people they can hang out with. This is about you finding who you are and getting that love and support that you absolutely deserve by putting yourself out there, showing people who you are, your authenticity and all of your gorgeousness. And we're going to do one more here from the Angel Guide article, which is something that I received recently, and I absolutely love this. So one more message from the collective for 2021. Don't forget, keep projecting onto this candle. I love the way, I don't know if you can see it, but all of the wax has gone down the side. It's all coming out here. These are all your hopes and wishes, everything that you want for 2021. And we assure you everything is redeemable. Everything that you want is attainable for you in 2021. Effortlessly. You've worked so hard in 2020. Just a line and it will come. Here we go. Remember your unicorn is with us now. Healing energy, absolutely. That's what we want you to know. Healing energy in and around you now. And I want to send some extra Reiki for you here. And then the power symbol here, Choku Rei. We'll do it one more time. Keep breathing into this healing energy. Everything that you want is absolutely on the horizon. And please remember that you deserve it. Everything that you've asked for, you probably deserve 10 times as much that you've asked for. So that's something that you can be looking at too. Go for the stars, go for the moon. You're only here once on this lifetime or this particular lifetime. And with all the timelines that have come together, it promises to your timeline is coming in. You're ready to go for it. You've done all the work. This is gonna be an effortless year in many ways for you. Work smarter, not harder. You've absolutely got this. So keep breathing into and bringing in that abundance energy from the candle. Even after this session, I'm going to leave the candle out there to burn down naturally for all of your hopes and dreams and wishes. Thank you for joining us here today. Don't forget in the next couple of days for uh, 2021, we will be working with Hecate. Uh, one more time, I've worked with her before. She's wonderful. She keeps coming up and wants to give you some personal messages um, for 2021, what to expect for you. So don't forget to tune in there and feel free to come join us at Unicorn Light Tower and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss that. And we have so many gifts for you for the end of 2020, be it the chakra meditations, healings and activations. And of course we have the, I was going to say integration, in a way it is the intuition and the oracle, the five day course, a video course that I took from the Unicorn School of Light and put it on the Unicorn um, uh, Light Tarot uh, site for free. So you have so many different ways to get as much support and blessings and activations and healing um, before the end of 2020 and of course throughout 2021. I'm not taking them off the Unicorn Light Tarot uh, YouTube channel. It's always going to stay on there, but go ahead and pop on there if you need any extra help. So we will be seeing you in the next couple of days with our beloved Hecate and until we meet again. Take care, sending so much love and light to you. Happy full moon blessings and happy, beautiful, lovely, lovely days to you and nights whenever you see this video. Remember, 
Keep the faith. You've got this. Take care. Bye-bye.